We consider energy as the ultimate enabler of human development. You need access to energy in order to have access to clean water because that water has to be pumped or maybe uh, uh, recycled. You need energy to do that. You need energy to run the hospitals properly, the equipment. But more importantly, in developing countries, we have seen uh, numbers from, uh, uh, we have seen data from the WHO and a number of other medical institutions where every year there's over 4 million premature deaths due to household air pollution. And a lot of that is coming from smoke, from the use of biomass for their primary energy needs, either for cooking or for heating. 80% of those are women and children. But also we see problems in hospitals, high maternal mortality rates in developing countries, three primary causes, lack of electricity in the hospital, lack of sanitation, which is somehow linked to lack of energy because you can't sterilize properly. But the worst of it is hemorrhaging. Women hemorrhaging when they deliver babies. And again, if you don't have uh, uh, energy, you can store blood to help quickly replace blood loss. So you begin to see these connections between energy and health, energy and poverty, because again, with energy, you can process food, you can store food. With energy, you can increase productivity of communities. With energy, you can pump water for irrigation. You begin to see the connection, energy, food, energy, water, energy, women and children's health. Also, women spend 20 hours a week collecting firewood and water in poor communities. If they had energy, they could pump that water. If they had energy, they don't need to collect firewood. They can cook with clean energy services. We are convinced that with renewable energy, you can do decentralized mini-grid solutions in communities to supply 1,000 people, 500 people, because you can deploy renewable energy technologies. And this could include solar, it could include biomass, uh, 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 and bio, biofuels or bioenergy. So there are a number of ways you can deploy these min, uh, new technologies or renewable or sustainable energy technologies to provide energy services for poor communities.